Check this out, guys. I've got me a regular old Lada with a regular old Lada engine. And a bunch of people have been requesting we try a certain idea. That is to take as much weight out of the pistons and conrods as we physically can. That'll make for something of a racing engine, and we'll see how it operates and whether it'll work in the first place. Let's do this. So for starters, let's find out how high this engine can rev in its current form. I am pretty curious. Pedal to the metal, Sergey. Sixty-two hundred, and let the mods begin. So the engine weighs in at 116 kilos. Now we know how much it weighs with all of the accessories. Time to tear it apart. Okay, we've taken the engine apart, we've given everything a cleanup, and there is a lot of room for weight reduction. We'll start with, uh, for example, let's take this piston, right? And this one weighs in at 364 grams. Now I do think we'll be able to take a lot of weight out of them. But let's try and remove as much material as we're able to. Anything we think would be necessary. And put them back onto the scale. Let's go. The machining begins. We've got a baseline weight figure. It was about 365 grams, give or take a few. We've taken out the skirt on the lathe, right up to about here. And now I'm going to use a rotary tool to remove these ridges, while trying to avoid making the whole thing weaker. Okay, so after machining the pistons, they weigh about 322 grams each. That makes for a reduction of 44 grams. It was 43 on a couple of them, and 44 on the other two. But I mean, they differed in weight to begin with, so... Now, obviously, another part we have in there would be the conrods. They're fully assembled, only the nuts are missing. But let's see how much this one weighs. How much is that? 706 grams. And we can definitely make it lighter. Even a whole lot lighter, I'm sure. There are plenty of other parts we can make lighter, but we'll get to them in due time. Let's carry on. All of these rockers weigh in at a total of 773 grams. I suggest we make these lighter as well, so that the valves open quicker, and the springs have an easier time pushing them back up. Hey, since we're making the rockers lighter, might as well do the valves as well. Total weight is 618 grams. Write that down. We are going to slightly flatten this head. It is going to be angled slightly differently. It's not going to be a drastic reduction on its own, but it should make for a considerable reduction in the total weight of all of them. Of course, we're also going to be doing the crankshaft. Take this here scale, and let's see how much it weighs. Look at that, 10 kilos, 870 grams. Yeah, this has to be the heaviest bit that we got out of all of them. Let's take as much weight out as we can and look at the result. Well, 
And this is what the crankshaft now looks like. We've removed all of the counterweights and all of that. And I can already feel how much lighter it has gotten. But then, I mean, actually weighing it is an entirely different thing. Okay, so that is a total reduction of 2600 grams. That is actually quite a lot in the context of the rotating assembly. But let's continue making uh, stuff lighter. And right here we have all of our lightened parts. And let's talk bits that we've modified but haven't weighed yet. Starting with the valves. And this was a pretty interesting one. We've done a bit of work on the heads and the stems as well. 581 grams and it used to be 618, right? That's a reduction of 37 grams, which isn't all that bad. So those are the valves. We've also got the rockers. Those we also machined. 644, look at that. So we were able to pull 129 grams out of those. Now it's time to examine the rods. We've made them slightly narrower. They all weigh about the same. Let's put this one onto the scale. 563 grams. Down from 563 to 707. So that makes it 144 grams saved per conrod. We have also machined the camshaft. In between the lobes, removing any excess material. What do we got? 2 kilos, 108 grams. So that is 224 grams removed. Also, we have got the timing components right here. These brackets, chain. And you might have noticed that these are a bit different from the standard parts. Because uh, your normal sort of sprockets and chains are really heavy. Yeah, these are pretty massive. We haven't even weighed them yet. But let's do just that. There we are, and that is 2,318 grams. We have bought a pre-manufactured set with a slender-looking sprocket. And uh, just as slim of a chain. Should be a dramatic difference, and uh, indeed. 1,387 grams. So about a kilo lighter. But there's more. Here's something we decided not to lighten ourselves, because there are pre-made solutions out there. I'm referring to the flywheel and the clutch pressure plate. The stock assembly weighs in at... Um, how much is that? Sure, 10 kilos, 390 grams. Now let's weigh this assembly, which we didn't do any work on, as all of the work has been done for us. You'll see that this is lightweight. These are off-the-shelf parts that you can buy in stores. 9,135. Okay, so this store-bought assembly allowed us to pull another kilogram and 250 grams of weight out of our rotating assembly. When weighing all of these bits together before mods, we saw 31 kilos and 589 grams. Who could imagine that these parts weigh so much? Because individually, they don't give you that impression at all. And after doing all of those mods, we are looking at 25 kilos, 594 grams. So we brought the weight down by 5,995 grams, uh, let's call it 6 kilos for good measure. But now let's get to assembling the super lightweight engine and weigh the entire thing once again, to make sure there weren't any errors. Okay, assembly and back onto the scale. Okay, so the engine is back together, everything is looking very good. Looks nice with the paint. And now the moment of truth. Bring it up, let's see how much it weighs. You never know, but it should be in the same ballpark. 
so it appears as if the engine has lost 8 kilos, though we worked out that it should have been 6 kilos. I guess it's because we cleaned everything off. That's what makes for such a difference. But what we want to find out is how all of these measures are going to affect engine operation. So we are going to go ahead and fit this to a car, start it and see how it's able to run and show you guys. Let's carry on. Oh, wow, it spins the wheels as soon as I touch the gas pedal, holy cow! Wow, this thing rips! Very nice indeed. This is actually brilliant! Wow, this thing goes! The wheels spin up and off we go! Now obviously I'm in first gear, it is pretty short, but it is what it is. Should I try a launch? It spins the wheels up whenever I apply throttle. I'm gonna roll into it without dumping the clutch. This is terrific. Okay, here we go. Oh, holy cow. Will you look at that, this thing rips. I can try starting in second. Don't know if it'll get going though. But let's find out. And we are off, the car isn't rocking back and forth. This is just so awesome. You can actually even tell by listening to this engine that something is up. Though it still has that restrictive exhaust. We didn't do anything. No carburetor tuning, just the weight reduction. Okay guys, so that you don't have to take our word for it, we've brought out this Lada. Granted, uh, yeah, this is the station wagon variant. It might be slightly heavier, but it isn't a world of difference. The important thing is that the engine inside this one is very healthy. It pulls very well, believe you me. Now, I won't be able to drive both cars, but this is going to be a lot of drag battle. Who's feeling brave? Anyway, the drag race is going to show us what's what. Let's do this. Sure. Well, of course. Always catching up, come on now. That's a bit over a car length, I reckon. This thing is a peach. I almost had you. It did get off the line well. Yeah, I don't think I was too slow to launch. My launch was also good, though I could have done better. Yeah, probably. You want to swap lanes? Yeah, definitely. Look at how he shot off, holy cow! Where is the effectiveness? I think I launched well enough. You know what? I really enjoyed observing from my end. Well, both of us did well with the launch. And obviously that one was quicker. I even seemed to be catching up. But when you go for a second, the front end lifts up into the air, it spins the wheels. Okay, we've done a bit of fine tuning. Let's see how high this engine with the weight reduction is able to rev. Fired up. Okay. 
Did you see that? Why'd you break the car? What's with the six grand? Well, the car does work okay. So here's the situation. As someone had predicted, the red line has not changed. Still at six grand, though we were expecting the red line to go up at least another couple of thousand revs. But the car does accelerate better, the engine runs just fine, nothing broke while we were out testing it, and that is good. It pulls and there are actually plenty of factors. The car B ignition timing, valves are always adjusted differently. But the important thing is that the engine pulls nicely, everything held up, nothing broke off and that is a very good thing. And now we just need to work on combustion chamber geometry to bring the red line up. And that's all I got for you, you saw it all for yourselves. Everything works, it's all good, nothing is broken and that's it for this video, catch you guys later.